So now we are going to merge three data frames. If data frame one and two see column is common and based on the combined result of one and two, we are going to merge it with the data frame three. So we will have E column common in that case. So I have already uh, imported Pandas package as PD um, and have retrieved um, these three sample data. So now let's check what's there in the uh, sample data. So in the data frame one dot had, as you can see on uh, the five rows, the kind of uh, um, data we have in ID, make, model, and the state. Uh, similarly, in the data frame two, uh, we have different um, and kind of um, same IDs, and then you have model year uh, and the state. So model is a bit of different information. In the data frame three, uh, we have the um, theft data along with the ID and the state. So now we're going to merge uh, these three data frames. So it's data frame one dot merge data frame two. Uh, so it's we are going to perform the inner join. So that's on the ID column. Um, then it's the backslash. And now we are going to merge the result of the two uh, data frames with the third one. Again, it's going to be the uh, inner join and it's on the ID. So we are not specifying the how condition. So if we haven't specified it, by default, it takes as the inner join and in the merge.head as you can see. Uh, so these are uh, our results set. Now let's uh, try to merge another data frame. So let's see you know, how we can go on and combine the fourth data frame and uh, so on. So I have already um, imported the data. So the process is going to be a bit similar. Um, so we are going to uh, combine all the result and uh, merge it with the data frame four. So that's the data frame four. Um, so, um, I have um, took the method dot head and as you can see there are five rows so it's the id rank and state um, so we're going to merge it on the id with the fourth data frame as well so let's uh, as it is let's merge the data frame one two and let's put the combined result with the data frame three and again backslash and then you're going to merge the result resultant uh, data frame with the data frame 4 and again we are going to specify here the id column on which we are going to merge so now let's check the result now let's try to um uh, play a little bit with the suffixes so um Let's try to replace the underscore x um, and underscore y uh, suffix, which has basically come from, you know, um, from left and right tables, um, if, if we think about the inner join. So here we're going to use another argument for the suffixes and um, let's specify the name. So let's take table one and table two. Here as well, we can put uh, table one and table two. So it will give us an uh, kind of idea uh, from which table left or right uh, the column has actually come. Now let's check the result. So these are the uh, resultant rules. That's the number of rows and columns. Let's try to maybe rename it uh, in a better way because we have four data frames and let's, you know, uh, make it more clear from which data frame actually which column is coming. 